Hi guys and welcome to um, another kit review. So today we're going to have a look at a kit from Italeri. Kit number is 277, 135th scale. It is a Panzerwerfer 42 of Maltia. Okay, so I have done a kit review on the Panzerwerfer 42 of SWS. But this one is actually mounted on a Maltia drive chassis okay which is the difference between the two is this is the multi setup for that they used on um, trucks and other vehicles especially during uh, Russian winters and spring thaws etc okay so this is this almost this exactly the same as the SWS Panzerwerfer except it's mounted on a different chassis so as you can tell by the box, this is an old one, which I picked off off the internet. Uh, this kit did come out in 1994, and is actually a rebox with new parts of their uh, Italy's original Maltier kit uh, from 1976. So it is an old mold with new parts in it. Okay, so. I'm not expecting miracles, but um, the Panzerwerfer 42 SWS kit did have interior fittings, so I'm pretty sure this one will have too. Okay, so let's have a look at the box first. And yes, the snails have gotten at this box. Okay, so like I said, I picked it up off the internet, and yes, most definitely. I've lost a bit of the writing, but this is just the history of the vehicle in several different languages, okay? So it will be repeated on the instructions, I'm pretty sure. On the other side, we have got, again, a bit more snail damage, more languages, and Modern Master Paint call-out, which is just five for this kit, and the usual... Um, Italy's address in Italy, etc. etc. Okay, so that's the box. Shoot up box nails, but still artwork not too bad at all. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Okay, so instructions. All right, we'll have a look at those shortly. And yes, I did pick this up off the net. It didn't cost me that much. As you can see, this is here a photo etch set for this kit. Original price eighteen fifty. I think the whole kit itself, including these here, cost me about twenty something dollars Australian. Okay, so bargain. I love my internet bargains. So oh, I'll put those aside. First bag out. Deagles. All right. Two vinyl tires for the front. So, as I said, this came off the internet, that's why it's not in plastic bags. First main sprue, rocket tubes, rockets, okay, suspension parts, etc., and chassis. And next sprue out is the body of the vehicle, the back, doors and hatches, etc. And then the vinyl tracks, which are silver and very reminiscent of um hella kits actually very very reminiscent of hella kits which had very silver these aren't that bad but still yeah interesting interesting old 19 what did i say 1970s tech okay put those aside get rid of the box and we'll have a look at the instructions and the decals in a second Okay, so let's have a look at the instructions. So, history of the vehicle in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 different languages. And where's my English? English is up here. So use it. it doesn't give you much. It gives you some technical data, um, but not a great deal of history as far as the vehicle is concerned. 
All right, so let's have a look in the instructions. Very simple fold outs. First page, usual warnings about what to pay attention to, how to apply the decals, etc. Sprue layout, as you can see, tracks, two sprues, very simple construction, very basic kit. Okay, so an easy build for a weekend, I would think. Okay, so over the page, your color call outs, it's always Model Master with Italeri. And you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven different colors for this vehicle. And most of it is just um, for the tools, etc. Overall, would be dark yellow with um, red brown or um, dark green camouflage, depending on how you want to paint this up. All right, so first step up: chassis, chassis parts steering for the vehicle and no this vehicle is not steerable it's fixed engine so yes you do get a very basic engine in this vehicle that you can see from underneath you would have to add a few more bits and pieces to it if you were to display that engine properly so that's going to be internet research if you choose to leave the engine uh, panels open and then we go on to differential front tires wheels so this just basically describes the dis assembly of the actual bogey wheels okay drive sprockets so there's your drive sprocket units so this is the multi section and then over there we go on to the actual interior so these are your interior fittings for the rockets so these are the rocket racks okay driver's position right? including instruments how to paint it all up so there's a bit of painting to be done inside it does give you what color the inside of the vehicle is it does say it's D which to me is insignia white so that would be an internet reference, might not be white, this is an old kit, so it could be the same as um, inside tanks etc, which was not, of course, kind of like an off-white. So again, check your references. Okay, and then once you've done the interior, which will need to be painted up, okay, so you get top and bottom hull goes together. Front goes on, back goes on. So you can leave the hatches open on this. It does have an engine access hatch, but I believe that should be in split down the middle. So yeah, if you're going to display the engine, you'll need to definitely have a check on the internet and see how that was done. Then your tracks go together and they go on. And the whole thing goes together with the chassis. Fairly simple, straightforward construction. And then you just get your accessories. So you've got your tools and your hatches, etc. going on. Front hatches. So it is split. So yes, you could leave it open if you wanted to, to display the engine. Alright. You've got your vision slits going in. And other accessories like jerry cans, etc. Step ups horn lights going on and then it's construction of the actual launcher just fairly straightforward okay basically two halves going together so you've got eight rockets that goes on that's your swivel mount which is this bit and then that just gets mounted onto the back back hatches you can leave the hatches open if you want to or close them same for the engine bay, more tools and accessories go on. And that is it. Okay. Very quick, very straightforward. Like I said, this is a very simple kit. And it doesn't actually explain where 
the rockets even though it does give you rockets it doesn't ex exactly explain where the rockets or how oh, no there it is i'm wrong got it wrong there you go right there a little bit there shows you the rockets going in all right just remember that rockets don't go all the way in the back did stick out okay and that's it now painting painting is only two vehicles one is for this one western front 1945 and russia 1944 okay and yes your colors are pale green military brown and flat tan that's your model master colors so basically all over dark yellow uncle group kelp red brown and dark green or even a in some instances an olive green so depending on what paint manufacturer you're using to paint your vehicles up you know just check their references and away you go and she's done so decals and painting for two vehicles only all right so that's the instructions decals as i said fairly straightforward this is like I said, an old kit. So the whites have faded a little bit. But um, not so much that you couldn't use them. Although I'd probably be going for some, I'd say, some markings, etc. Out of the spares box would probably be really good. The good thing is they also give you... Alright, so the divisional markings, etc. A lot of kids nowadays, dirty fiscal, tend to miss out the divisional markings for German vehicles at least. Okay, in a second, we'll have a look at the sprues. Okay, so let's have a look at the sprues. But first off, I will show you the photo etch which I got with the kit off the internet okay so as you can see it is the engine grills you've got vision slits a couple of um, steps for the side of the vehicle mirror and a couple of other small bits including the um, tail light okay so and some very little hooks and rings, etc., for um, detailing up the outside of the vehicle. So, those photo etch. This is the company, and this is specifically designed for this particular kit. So, I'm not even sure whether these guys still exist. That's how much it cost the original owner of the kit. Uh, and of course, I got it thrown in for free. The instructions that go with this are pretty basic. That's it. It's a hand drawing. Okay, so there is a bit of, uh, what can I say, grayness about where these bits and pieces go. So you've got hooks and chains, that kind of thing. Back steps for the uh, rear entrance. Okay. It does tell you what to remove as far as brackets are concerned. So this is the back of the vehicle. And on the other side, sorry about that guys. That's the front. So you get your vision slits. Some handles. Light bracket for your no-tech light. And of course your louvers for the radiator. And a couple other bits and pieces and a side step. So that's all the photo etch. Okay, so that is... The photo etch add-on for this kit and it does say specifically on here right there Italeri number 277 okay so that's the uh, P now let's have a look first row out the biggest one Okay, so what you have here is, naturally enough, 
the hull tub, hull top, front of the vehicle, back of the vehicle, engine, which is fairly basic, okay, wheels, etc. for inside, headlights, and some steps and vision slits, etc. Okay, so let's have a look at oops, at the actual thing itself. So this vehicle is supposed to have bolt detail along the sides here. Um, it does have some very, very shallow bolts. In fact, they're almost non-existent. And they are embedded in a, a dip which runs along the side here. So this is an old kit. So the moulding isn't terrific. Um, same on the other side. It does have bolt detail, but it is extremely shallow and very light on. So if you wanted to um, really enhance it, you would probably have to go for aftermarket bolts. Smooth the off, place the bolts along. They just bring it out a little bit better, make it look like the cover art. Anyway, we shall see how that goes. Engine, really basic, not much to it. Um, again, you'd have to do internet reference to see exactly what was missing off this engine. As far as displaying it through the top, you might get away with it. But it doesn't appear to have um, alternators and carburetors and um, even exhaust pipes running off it. So that would be something you'd have to look at yourself. See if you could um, modify it accordingly. Unless they're on the other sprue. Then I'll, we'll find out when I get there. Bottom. Not much detail on the bottom. As I said, this is an old kit. It's been reworked a few times okay and it is literally very lacking in detail these are the parts that are getting replaced with the photo etch so you get treads for the back here and vision slits those are the slats for the radiator which you'd have to cut out for the photo etch a couple of jerry cans front wheels etc so yeah there is bolt detail but it isn't exactly fantastic and not exactly <laughs> square bolts so as I said it is an older kit all right so that's that particular Particular screw. The next screw is most of these other components. So you've got side skirts, this is your internal driver's instruments, that's enough to launch her, suspension parts, wheels, this is your actual. Um, Launcher mount, rockets, internal mounts for spares and tools, and of course your running gear, etc. and your main chassis. Alright, so let's have a look at those. Again, not a huge amount of detail. These are opening compartments, so you could get away with it. Although I'd be looking at actual video references to see if there are any if they are actually accurate or not. Same goes for the launcher. You do have a radiator and possibly a couple of parts for the for the motor. That is at least the fan on the front. Okay? I don't see a fan belt, but 
you might not be able to see that much if you leave the engine compartment open anyway. Rockets are one piece, okay? So that's all one piece. Steering wheel for the driver. All right, so this is the rotating mount for the launcher. Nice enough. Drive rockets, idler wheels, etc. Exhaust, suspension. Does have some detail, spring detail on it, which is good. And main chassis, well, of course, your differentials and some more wheels. All right, so that is the other main sprue. And there are literally only two main sprues in this whole kit. And the only other thing I've got to show you is. The tyres, which are unremarkable, the vinyl tyres, they do have marks on them, moulding marks, etc. So they're not terrific, but you probably won't get anything else for this kit. And the tracks, okay, so as you can tell, a couple of spare tracks silver vinyl tracks um, I don't think you'd get after markets so there are some molding abnormalities on these tracks and they are because of their age not straight okay they curve so that's going to be another challenge putting those on and that is literally all there is as far as this kit is concerned Two sprues, plus the tracks, a few decals, and not much else. So that's it. That is Italeris, 35th scale, Panzerwerfer, 42 of Maltia. Okay, as you can see by the box art, the bolts along the side are quite prevalent. I would be checking my video references to see if that is actual the way the real vehicle was and if it was I would give consideration to getting some aftermarket bolts to dress this vehicle up a little bit more but then that is entirely um, a personal choice okay and that I think pretty much brings us to the end of this review I hope you got something from it this is a very old kit it is still available but quite rare so um, if you can pick one up, I'd recommend it just to add to your stash. Anyway, as I said, hope you got something from this. And until next time, take it easy.